All right, what's up, nerds? Uh, I just wanted to film this for, I want to say for posterity's sake, that's not the right word. Um, I've never done resin casting before. I've worked with resin parts. I know how to change them and, you know, fix them once I already have them in place. And I understand the concept of how to make resin parts, but I've never done any casting myself. So, this is a symbol, this is part of my, uh, my Guild Wars 2 cosplay that I need to try to get done for Dragon Con, which is a week away. Uh, and I made this out of, this is made out of clay, I made this last night, it hardened overnight. Um, and I'm going to try to give you a, an extreme noob's guide on how to make a resin cast, a mold box and a cast with tinting and translucent resin. So this base here, this is just a cheap uh, pre-cut acrylic sheet from Lowe's. It was about two bucks, I think. Um, you can buy them. They come in this size, various sizes. Then I bought four other ones, and basically I just hot glued these all together. You're essentially making a little mini aquarium because you need a sealed box that doesn't won't absorb the uh, won't absorb the silicone when you go to pour it to make the mold. So, I already took the, the time to make this, and I'm trying to get all the little junk out of here. It looks like pencil shavings. But essentially, so get that out of there. what I'm going to do is take this and put it over top of my box here as best I can. It doesn't line up exactly, but that's not really a problem. And we're just going to glue. We'll put glue actually first. Just regular old hot glue around the base here, and then I'm just going to take the box, put it over the top here. You want to try to do this pretty quickly so your glue doesn't dry on you before you get all the way around. You could probably use a silicone adhesive like they would use when they're building an aquarium something like that, but that obviously takes much longer to dry, and we want to try to make this relatively quickly, so we have time. Alright, so there's the glue all around. We're going to take our box, set it on here. Push it so that all the various corners here are sealed. Looks like I've got three of the four. Unfortunately, this side. This is actually supposed to be up above. That's good. So now I'm just going to go back over. Unfortunately, so restricted with my plug here. The reason you want to make sure you have a good seal like this is, again, when you pour the silicone in, one, silicone's not cheap. Two, you don't want to lose it all over the place because then you're going to ruin your mold. And it won't actually make a good seal. So I'm just going over this here and putting extra glue, making sure that that seals up. Now I've actually got a little bit of a gap here, which is not, not what you want. But since I'm not really, I don't need this to be a perfect square for what I'm doing, just put in, I don't know if you can see that, the glue in the gap there, and then I'm just, you know, watch you don't burn your fingers, I just did. And then I'm just putting, I told you, maybe you wear gloves if you're doing this. <laughs> uh, and I'm just putting pressure on here to seal the gap while the glue takes hold, and then what I'll do is just on the other side, double check that that's all done, and then I will uh, cut back when we're ready to pour. Claire, can you cut the cape for me? Ah, yeah. All right. So, change of plans. Here's the mold box. As you can see, it's pretty large. You can see the outline of the clay here. Um, I did the calculation 
based on SmoothOn's website since I figured I'd use them since I'm using SmoothOn resin and silicone products. My original mold box shape, they said, would take about 668 pounds of resin to fill this whole box. Um, whether or not that's accurate, I don't know. So, I decided, I think it's based, it's also somewhat based on the size of your model, and I put in the dimensions of mine, but I have some open spaces and things, and it's not all one uniform shape. Um, so I tried making it smaller, as you can see, which is a process, and then, in our infinite wisdom, my wife says, why don't we just try putting it in a Tupperware container? So here we go. If you've got cheap disposable containers and you want to make a small mold, this fits perfectly in here. It's just the dimensions that I need. Um, just got to be careful. I had ran into a little bit of cracking issues uh, when I lifted my clay off of that uh, acrylic base. But thankfully, um, the clay had pretty much hardened at this point, so I was able to just hot glue the pieces back together. Um, and then I'll just sand out any of the imperfections in the final piece. So, um, all right, I will cut to this. We'll be downstairs, and it'll be uh, time to make a mold.